Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm back with another video on uh, programming and this video I'm just going to be showing you guys uh, what I made. This is the first artificial intelligence um, app or program that I've ever made. And this is with JavaScript and HTML and a little bit of CSS. Um, and uh, yeah, and I used a neural network library to uh, make this program that I'm going to explain. The library that I used it was called Brain.js. I um, attached it to my HTML file using a CDN. Okay, this is a really good website by the way, CDN.js. Okay. Um, yeah, so I wrote this long program with many algorithms and everything, and then at the end I used the neural network library, which is over here. Bar network equals to new brain dot neural network, and then network dot train data, um, and then network dot run. Oh, actually, I actually don't know why I have that. Okay, I think we'll remove that. Yeah, I have network dot run over here. Um, yeah, network dot run. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's um. And this is the first time I've ever used this ES6 function, um, this arrow function over here. I've never used it. It's the first time I've ever used it. Um, so yeah, let me just teach you guys how this works. So uh, basically, this program um, asks you uh, questions like if you can see this really clearly. So uh, yes, I can see it clearly. No. Um, yes. Uh, no. Yes. No. Yes. Yes, yes, yeah, so like you can just like pick which one you want and then um, at the end when you're done like any time uh, You can just click train data and then it switches to a different color and it asks you if you can see the text or not right now And I can see it and then um, the computer actually said that uh, I do what okay. It's supposed to say I thought you could see it. Okay. I thought Okay same here, I thought. Okay, so I thought you could see it. Um, there was a 69 point blah, blah blah chance that you could see it. So the computer was correct. Okay, um, and that was all neural networks and everything. Okay, and uh, yeah, I'll just do that again. So um, if you like, do not put any data. So, like um, if you do not click yes or no, and you click training data, then it says you have to give at least one sample of data. Okay, so, like I just say yes, and then train data. Can you see the text? Okay, yes, I can. And then there's a 92% chance that um, I would say yes, okay? So that's how it works. And um, yeah, let me just teach you guys the code. I'm not, I won't teach you guys, I'm just gonna show you the code. So this is just like a background black. And um, these are just elements for uh, like um, this text over here and the background and these buttons and everything. And uh, yeah, this is my script tag for um, the brain.js. And here's where I write all my JavaScript. Um, these colors that are randomly generated are from here. Um, it picks like one of these random colors. And then this where the data is, so, like in, uh, whenever I click yes or no, it gives some data into this array. And then uh, I have a function called change color. So like whenever you click yes or no, it changes the color of the text and the background. Um, I also have an append function, which basically calculates the RGB values of um, the color. For example, if I do yes, it calculates the RGB values of um, this text color and also this uh, red color. Or, uh, sorry, I'm in the background color. And then it uh, transforms that into RGB and it um, like appends it to the data over here. Okay, it pushes it into the data. Okay, uh, and you have to give it in like a specific format um, according to brain.js. Or it won't work like you need an input and also an output and your output can be in, in the form of an array as you can see or can or your, or your input can also be in the form of an array but um, for the input I put uh, objects and for the output I put an array okay an array with one element which is yes no and then I um, yeah okay I won't explain that part and um, oh yeah this is what I learned today window that uh, window dot get computed style that's basically, it gets, um, so like let's say this color is red, okay, let's say, okay, okay, this color is red over here, okay, and um, when you, when it gets the computer style, it basically gets the RGB form, and then you have to like, um, like, like you have to get the, like I can show you, so, uh, show page source, um, document, 
dot get element by id um, back because um, the background I just called it back dot uh, get computed style okay this one here get computed style and then um, oh no sorry yeah this over here is supposed to be window dot yeah and then this goes here and then null and um, let's say you want to test the uh, background background color okay and when you do that it gives this RGB so you have to like remove all of this all this useless text which is over here okay and then you also have to remove um, these brackets and the RGB you, you also have to remove that and then you have to split the array using the commas okay so um, that's what I did as you can see split and then um, I use for loop to like get rid of the stuff yeah and then um, get data that's just like like um, it Oh, yeah, oh yeah, I'll explain that later, okay? And then uh, yes and no button. So like whenever you click this, this happens. It changes color and also appends data, okay? And then train. When you once you click train data, it uh it does all of this. So um it creates like an element where so the computer can say something like I thought blah blah blah, okay? And then um yeah and then like calculates uh, network to run the current like the changed colors and uh, yeah that's what it does and I also did get data yeah so get data is basically like um, a get the changed colors data okay so like if, if I do train data then uh, it basically gets this red color and this um, black color okay or it's, yeah like reddish orange okay so um, yeah so it gets that okay so uh, that's how it works, 157 lines of code um, using neural networks. I'll put the link to like download and um, learn brain.js in the description. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, see you next time.